Right, here we are. So, cut this lip off. Well, you can still see I've left just about enough on the part that's part of the uh, court panel. So there's a little bit of lip still from that, but there's there's no wheel arch here at all now. So we'll try and get this up in there. Got some packing washers. They go in the cup there just to um, stop it crushing the stop it crushing these edges when it is hard up against the jig let's see if we can get this in place pop it up Right then, we're uh, we're hard up on this joint now. Lovely fit all round here. Obviously, there's some panel missing here, so you know. Hopefully, that's in the right place. If anything, it looks like it's a a little bit far out, but pretty damn close. And actually, if we if we come down here, we can see there is, if I get the light in the right place boy, you can see there is a gap here that needs pulling in. And along here, if I grab a couple of clamps, one second, that's going to be no problem whatsoever now. So we can be able to spot weld all along this join here. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's have a quick look inside the car. The gap's looking lovely round the... Biggest problem we've got is probably this bracket here. Access to weld that is not brilliant. It needs to tidy it up anyway. We just need to put a bit of an edge on the top of that bracket there as well. Basically, there was a there was nothing here between about there and there on this bracket, so we just cut a little tiny bit of metal and put welds down and along and up. Also, one other thing, I need to look at the price of these, but um, I might get that off there depending on how much they cost. I'll have a look on my phone in a minute. And if I think it's too expensive, then I will put some time into cutting that bracket off there. Um, but if they're cheap, I might end up just ordering one. Turns out that this fits on the outside. So that that flange there goes on the outside of, of the arch. And actually this edge here This, this edge here will be welded to the top of the end of the heel board. So that would be like that. Here, this is how it's meant to be by the, all the pictures I can find. Uh, not tight short that little flick ups for, maybe just to something to do with catching spray or forming a drip edge or, or something. But yeah, they've obviously got that flick out there for a reason. As long as we can just put a little seam seam weld in between these two, I should be absolutely fine. But as far as I can tell, that's where that goes. So that's the back edge, and we've just looked at the front edge as well. Alright, thanks.
Bye. And then final place to look is inside the car. Companion bin just squashes back there. We'll be able to replug weld those and weld all that around there. Yeah, I'd say that is pretty much bang on. Guess it says a lot about heritage parts. Okay guys, thanks for uh, joining us on another one. Hope you're enjoying these. Uh, hopefully getting some hints and tips for someone out there. Right, see you later. Bye.